Hey fellow backyard boyers, Nick here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do a sort of a handle modification that will allow you to take pretty much any PVC pipe bow and make it center shot. Now by center shot I mean that the arrow will rest closer to center on this bow. It would be the equivalent of cutting a sight window out of a fiberglass reinforced wooden bow or cutting a smaller sight window out of a self bow or a back wooden bow. Now this works best on bows that have a reinforced handle. I've got a link in the description on how to make a bow that has a reinforced handle in case you wanted to go that route. Otherwise the handle is more prone to collapse. If reinforced, this will be very sturdy, a very stable bow. What you're going to need to start with is your PVC putt that has been flattened. This can be done with pretty much any bow half an inch, three quarter inch, one inch, it really doesn't matter. So you're going to need this and you're going to have needed to mark six inches. So three inches from the center on both sides. This is going to give us a nice four inch handle area and a decently sized two inch window. As you can tell it's pretty windy right now. So we're going to go ahead and heat this up and get started. The first thing we want to do is heat up the handle here. The easiest way to do this is to turn on the heat gun and just turn the handle slowly over the heat gun. Now you want to heat up this whole six inch area plus about an inch on either side. So what we're going to be doing is you need to get a piece of wood, you can use a 2x4 or something, that is six inches wide. So you could cut a 2x4 to six inches long and that would work fine but I've just got the scrap of wood here that happens to be six inches wide so I'm just going to be using this so here we go so you just want to heat this until the handle puffs up and is nice and pliable all right so here I have my handle here this is the upper limb so what I want to do is smoosh the handle this way. So what we do is we line this up, make sure that your block of wood ends up between the two six inch marks. Make sure it's held straight up and down. And then you want to take clamps, and, or a clamp, or two clamps, whatever, and actually clamp this to the handle of your bow. Take the other side. So you just want to clamp these, you want to keep increasing the clamping pressure until this handle is about as flat as it's going to get. Alright, so this is what the handle looks like now. So basically, when you hold this, you can see there's a nice window here. But the only problem is that the limbs are all at a funny angle. So what we're going to do is, one by one, go and heat up each side. So first we're going to work on this side. Heat this up, make sure that this fade becomes more gradual, not hard and sharp like this. We're also going to make sure that inside the handle here, it's not hard and sharp, that it's a little more gradual, and that will keep it from collapsing. So, here we go. Alright, so this is really simple. What you want to do is you take your heat gun or your heat source, and you just want to heat up this area. You want to pretty much concentrate it right on this crease and about an inch above and an inch below. And we want to expand it all and get it to where we can form it. So here we go. As you can see, it's pretty much heated up. You can see the crease on the inside is gone. So is the harsh crease on the outside. So you just want to heat it up a little bit more until it's really pliable in all directions. Right. So now that it's pliable in all directions, you want to work quickly 
figure out, okay, you still want this to be the interior, so you actually want to push on the pipe like this. You see that? That way we can make sure that the limb lines up straight and that the bow won't collapse or it won't be crooked, but we can also keep it nice and straight like this. You also want to go and push the limb forward a little bit so that we establish the, the back of the bow and the belly of the bow and we have a nice fade in both directions. So you're kind of pushing the limb up in this direction. And you just want to kind of play with it until it sets. So while this is happening, you want to actually sight down the bow and make sure that the limb lines up with the rest of the bow. Alright, so as you can see, the handle now lines up. It's nice and straight, and that you can see that the handle lines up with the bow and they've got this nice area right here. What's really nice about this is that you can actually kind of change it how you want. Later on you can fine tune this. You can make this beyond center, you can make this at center, or you could even heat up both sides and center this so that it becomes an ambidextrous part. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and heat up this side and do the same thing. So I'm going to show you what that looks like finished. Okay, so here's the bow. Here's the finished handle. As you can see, when you hold this, now the bow has a nice window here. As you can see, the arrow will actually pass closer to center than before. If you wanted to, you could flex this out a little bit more and make it a little more aggressive but I like it to be fairly close to center but I don't I personally don't like completely center shot though it's just personal preference so now what we're going to be doing is building our handle piece because if you use the bow as is right now it would be very uncomfortable to shoot not only that but because of the way the handle is your arm would be directly in line with the string and it would probably get you on every single shot. What we're going to be doing is building a handle section. Essentially we're taking a half an inch and a three quarter inch PVC pipe, putting them inside each other, flattening them just like we did this handle and then putting them together which will effectively give you a double thickness handle here which will be nice and full in the grip it will prevent you know, unnecessary arm slap and it will also serve to reinforce this handle a little bit. I've taken the two pipes, put them together and flattened them. Once I did that you can see the layers in here. What I did was I ground this. You could do this with a piece of wood but PVC kind of keeps it with the whole theme. So what I've gone and done is you can see I've rounded off the outside here I've also gone ahead and tapered this and rounded this down here. I've also rounded this all off. What that's going to do is that we are going to actually glue this onto the handle of our bow to create a shelf. And when you're finished with this, if you fill this in with epoxy or if you wrap it with something, it looks like a built-in it looks like a built-in radius riser. That's another thing I did. I slightly radius this. This is to allow the arrow to pass over this. It minimizes the contact between the arrow and the rest. You don't have to do this. It's more of a personal thing for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this rest onto the riser of our bow. And once that's done, the bow will have a nice cut to center riser. All right, so here's the riser. I've gone ahead and I've glued this in. You can see it blends fairly nicely. From the side it blends fairly nicely. From the other side it blends. So what I'm going to be doing to finish this is I'm going to round this a little bit. It's easier once it's on here. Just to round it a little bit 
and then I'm going to actually wrap this whole handle so this is all going to be hidden. But here you can see what we've done. So there's an integral place on the bow now where the arrow can rest. And as you can see, when I hold the bow directly at the camera, you see the arrow is pushed off just a tad. That's because this isn't a past center riser. If you can see, if I align the bow straight on with me, you can see that the center of the bow is actually right here along this area. So the arrow actually sits a little outside of center. So this isn't a truly center shot bow. You would consider this a cut to center bow because the riser here, the sight window is basically cut to the center point. If you wanted to make it more aggressive, you could, and that would make this a truly center shot bow. But either way, what this does is it really makes the bow more forgiving of a variety of spine and arrows. It makes it more consistent, especially when you're learning. So I'm going to shoot this for you guys real quick. So here it is. So now I'm going to go and finish up this bow, and then I'm going to show you what this looks like when it's all finished. There we go. And here's the finished handle. So you can see, nice cut to center. I went ahead and put some Velcro on here as a sort of an arrow pass. That way the arrow won't make a lot of noise coming through here and it won't wear down on the bow any. But here it is. So I'll take a couple shots with it for you guys real quick. There it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.